This is the bubble art Pure Arrow Rough Origin and forehands like this are smoking but should we mortals buy the racket of the king of clay. Guys Rafa is one of the strongest players and this specific pure arrow is made for him. But should we play with this racket? It comes with a hefty swing weight of 371 as well as a stiffness rating of 70. With 16 by 19 string pattern and this specs it should be still very powerful and spin friendly but extremely hard to move around. Let's find out on court how it performs. Let's start with power. Spin comes last as it is the most important. Guys, this racket is so powerful if you can handle the heftiness of the racket. I had extreme problems to put the ball inside the court. The main issue was not the power is too much, but to finish the swing properly with the amount of topspin that the ball actually stays inside. Sometimes it was simply too much weight to really make the full swing with the proper technique and I found myself making half swings sometimes. The power was good, it was not too much if I really could handle the heftiness and the swing weight. What surprised me the most was the feel I got on drop shots and that is something I realized immediately. I understand now how Rafa is having such a lethal drop shot with this racket. The feedback of the pure arrow is so good and very good to hit every shot required with touch. Control on the other hand was something I needed more time to adapt to. The power is very high when I swing full out and you have to swing through to really get the benefit of the racket. I kind of get the idea now of Rafa making the lesser swing over the head as I think it helps him having of course more topspin but also get more control with this very powerful racket. One thing I noticed immediately was the stability. If there was a fast coming shot or a return to make, that racket was extremely rock solid and I could counter with a running forehand which I liked a lot. If you enjoyed this video so far, leave a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing. Thanks guys. I had a short back and forth with Michelle from Tennis Wears on their channel after releasing the Bubble Up Pure Arrow Rough Origin. And I basically said that no one of us should pay for this racket because we are destroying our arms and shoulders with this beast. The legend racket testing she is, Michelle gave the classy answer that she is used the Pro Stuff RF with a dead string and she's not really feeling the stiffness and heaviness of the rackets and also the shock absorption of the pure arrow rougher is very good. So long story short, I must say I will continue saying this guys. If you have not excellent technique, perfect fitness and good mobility in your wrist and shoulders, do not buy this racket. After 20 minutes of hitting, I already felt my elbow and my shoulders and I knew that I maybe do not have more than 90 minutes with this racket before my arm is falling off. And consider this guys, I am playing with a Gravity Pro which is already very demanding. While the shock absorption is definitely noticeable when you hit the ball inside the sweet spot, but if you hit it outside, it feels like the same with the Pro Stuff RF Edition, it feels like a wooden board. And the sheer swing weight of this racket already needs a lot of amount of force to be moved. Already that will increase the chance for tennis elbow and shoulder issues over the long run if again you don't have perfect technique and very good fitness. After hitting with the Pure Arrow Rough Origin, I switched back to the Gravity Pro and this racket felt like a badminton racket to me. Guys, don't get me wrong, the racket was still very fun to use and with spin especially, this was exceptional. Not only did the specs help with the 16x19 string pattern, a 100 inch head and the thick frame also the head heaviness helps with generating topspin. Although keep in mind only if you can generate racket head speed properly the spin is exceptional. I often found myself using the lasso loopy forehand with the overhead finish to generate even more spin because it was so much fun. Opening angles were top, cross court short angles were exceptional to hit and after a while it was getting 
fun getting this much topspin of a racket because I'm not used to it. Maybe you, you too. So it was a very fun racket to use, at least for topspin. So let's go to the ground strokes. Some of you know by now that I really like the straying forehands with every racket. And I do not like rackets that do not allow me that. Either they are too powerful or unstable. But smoking forehands was fun with the pure arrow origin. It was hard though because of the set heftiness. I also did some breathtaking mistakes. So easy that they are painful because it's not only the hefty but you have to move everything properly to really use the full potential of this racket. On the back end it is different. I have not a problem swinging heavier rackets with my back end but controlling them if the racket is too powerful. With the rough origin I often found myself leaning back because I knew that I will miss wide when I'm trying to go too much. This is a common problem I have with most powerful frames. Nice was good, it felt good, changing directions was easy and it was very reliable. Also nothing to complain here. On surf I had the most issues with the racket. I had so many problems with the weight and the power of the racket. The feedback was not too good and my percentage of first surfs especially were not very high. It was windy maybe that was a factor too but it was never been harder to progress to trophy pose and I thought I need more time to bring the racket up. Therefore I needed to adjust myself to more kicks as this was more useful. The kicks are fantastic by the way. It was so easy creating topspin on the surf and they were bouncing really high. I was making a few double faults, always missing long, the power was a little bit too much and I needed to adjust to that. Guys, this racket is made for Rafa and should be only used by Rafa in my opinion. Maybe if you're an upcoming pro player who can handle this beast of a racket and like the exceptional topspin and the stability, be my guest to try it out. But for us club players, mortals, we should not use this racket. But if you're interested in a human bowler pure arrow, here's my review on that.